Ah, excellent work, Bishopric. By the way... By the by... Oh god, where's all that money gone? Stop spending all my money! Maybe he spent the money on my... Uh, on my treatment. Can't see where it went, though. Yeah, your name does pass down in the game. If you use a name, I think the game remembers that, oh, the, the person likes this name, we'll use it more often. Uh, especially when there are events to name kids after heirs or fathers and grandfathers. Double J comes of age. Time for the real coming of age. Oh, wait, you weren't converted to witchcraft. Need to do that. Never know when I need to be able to execute my own kin for uh, for witchcraft. Right, Prague. King of Bohemia. Alliance. If I make the claim now, chances are good that I pay for it and don't actually get it. Because I'll die before I can press the claim. But there's a chance that it goes better than that, so let's uh, let's try and go for the claim anyway. There is a slight chance that I get a claim on the entire duchy. I have the chin points to buy the duchy. I could consider it, but if the realm splits between kids of mine, then that would be a problem. So it's actually good to have lots of uh, lots of girls around here. Double J Ugo are now married. <laughs> Make me proud, Double J. Right, you're the one I'm trying to kill, um, but I want that plush and exotic carpet. She's greedy, she'll take it. What? Ooh, I don't like that. Oh well, maybe that's the cynic in her, but I'm surprised. Right, convince double J, and then if she makes it to 20... We might be able to get some subtle desire and unshackled lust. And then create some homegrown inbred. The greedy want the money, Jake. Oh yeah, you sell it for money. You don't happen to have any other horrible si- No, you've got two siblings. Come on, can't we just go for- Oh, elope. Elope and marry in secret. Well, I'm trying to make babies with my short-stacked wife here. But she's just not- I mean, come on. Come on. All that glitters, my lord. This pouch contains a powder of most nefarious. She's incredibly healthy. She she would not even feel that. So I'm not giving her my gold. I'm not going to give more uh, curtain walls. I actually don't believe very much in fort level. Early on, it's nice to have five or seven. But later on... Tree buckets and cannons blow them down, and it's far better just to teleport with your men-at-arms and crush enemies. Root cellars in Kislav. You mean I can have even tougher spears? The payoff isn't great, but I'll buy it. I missed the beginning of the stream. How's the Witch Coven going? Thankfully we got the Witch Coven done. It ended up being just as uh, tedious as getting it done for Wallachia, but we squeezed it out. In fact, we celebrated uh, our Witch Coven on the blood of a boy that we killed to make it, because he, uh, he was bringing us below 60% and I couldn't convert him, so he went into prison and I killed him. And that's probably why I'm a familial kinslaying, witching, adultering. I'm surprised people don't know about the murder. Oh, I gave a strong hook instead of uh, instead of admitting to the murder. There we go. This guy's got it. it. Means I can't kill him, but he's not really doing anything over there. And as long as he can't demand money from me, it's all good. Okay, the, ch the chances aren't great, but let's try and kill you to end that alliance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, oh no, 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 no. The poison did not have the intended effect. It left the unlanded bedridden for a week. To make matters worse, the herbalist supplying the poison was tracked down 
and she knows I was behind it. At least I've become a bit more dreadful, but uh, let's just add that to our crimes list. For once, our crime list isn't murder, murder, murder. It's uh, murder, 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 lover, lover. I guess the others are known, aren't they? Well, that's a shame. That's a damn shame. I needed to end that alliance between the two of you. Now my hope is that you die of natural causes, and that'll somehow end the alliance. Ah, welcome to the commune, my sister. Now, the uh, the loins are a bit aching for some company, so it's time for us to go and find another horrible character to lay with. So we shall find an enfeebled... Fifteen-year-old is so close and yet so far away. Fifteenth of March. I can't wait that long. We'll find something else that's ready to rock and roll. A uh, spy master, eh? I spy with my little eye. Let's go. Oh, critical. Critical. That's all right. We can go for a run. Oh, oh even better. We get journaler. Journaler is amazing. And we're going to go and work off that, uh, that stress of ours. Oh, we could also hold a, uh, a grand right. Let the right begin. Some people are disgusted by the luck at which I get the good events from fishing for stress. But if you get journaler, confident, or uh, athletic, it's amazing. All three is just brilliant. Small boost to health, boost to prowess, boost to stress loss, boost to stress loss, boost to learning. I think confident is a boost to stress loss and a boost to something. Maybe diplomacy. Anyway, what are we looking for here? Uh, the grimoire again. It's our best shot. They're spellbound. And we get a learning lifestyle perk. Better than losing the stress because we have ways to manage stress. It's very powerful, the Grand Right. I'm just getting these for free. Physician, better outcome. Good if I get sick. Until next time, everyone. Well, I'll be. This is pretty good. Having an alliance with a very powerful Croatia, also good. Them having an alliance with Mega Hungary, uh, equally and opposite good. Amazingly, though, after one war, we've become narrowly stronger than Bohemia. Although their men-at-arms are probably still stronger than ours. They got 1,200 and they're pretty good. We have 1,000 and they're worse. Come to think of it, what's so good about the, uh, the Czech armoured footman? I'd actually like to look at that. Oh, what's this? My lord, my heart would not know rest until I found you again. It is I, Louisa. Surely you remember me, my sweetness. I cannot believe my eyes. The beautiful woman I stumbled upon outside my castle moons ago. She's showing up here. Critically stressed out. Yeah, I should have you around in my court. However... However, I wouldn't mind losing the stress for free. Then inviting her to court. Inviting her to... There we go. Ooh, we could carry this on, you know, but I'm, I'm busy finding greener pastures, so to speak. Right, but I was trying to figure something out. Check have access to these things, which have 34 and 20. 34 and 20. Compare that to regular heavy guys. 32, 22. So a little more damage, a little less armor. Counters spearmen, no terrain effects. Counters, spearmen, and archers, 
many terrain effects. Okay, so they're generally better at fighting. That's pretty good. Full maintenance, 1.2539. That seems expensive. Okay, so they're more expensive, the counter archers, and they have good terrain effects. Mm, you know what? I think they'd actually be worth it. Because most of the fights end up happening in hills and mountains, because AI runs away to those. So, 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 so. That's actually good. Oh, right, they also screen. Screen is only useful when you retreat, I think. I won't claim to know that for sure. A defeated army reduces the amount of casualties they take by screening. Okay, but I don't plan on losing my fights. Mm-hmm. Right. Urka. Let there be a bold declaration of my love. You can culture flip and hire them. Go back, you keep them. Well, yes, I plan on doing that if I become Czech and rich enough. Mm hmm I always know you're a man of impeccable taste. Getting, uh, losing sight of all my lovers. Why can't they just hurry up and get pregnant though, right? I'm fasooned, witchy. Surely I've got it all going on for bringing out the pregnancy. Not gonna build up stair anymore. No guarantee I could keep hold of it. Uh, my vassals arrived at court with a bandaged arm and a hunger for vengeance. My daughter, Super Pie, has been running rampage uh, all over Leon Felden. Your girl fancies herself a duelist. She turned up at my doorstep, challenged me in front of everyone. I had no choice but to accept. This is not the first time either. Oh, I do rather like my daughter. I just wish she'd put out some less disappointing spawn. Really? All these kids... And all you've got is one Uggo and no giants. Super Pie, come on. Anyway. Ooh. A dangerous pastime, you need an instructor? There's no way I'm paying for that. Well, Super Pie, if you're this good, we've got to put you to sword. <laughs> there you go. If you wanted to be dueling, you should have been better than daddy. Right, uh, I will get that unpressed claim. It doesn't cost that much. I should live quite a while, right? I'm still feeling fine. But that is a dangerous fight as long as you have Hungary on your side. I need to do something about that alliance. What I don't know is, will that alliance persevere if you die? It's between... Oh, off I went there. Princess Alsbeta. Princess Alsbeta is not related to Prince Hasek? Who even is Prince Hasek relating to you? According to this, it should be House Seniority, the oldest member of your house. Mm. Then if you die, that will probably annul this Hungarian alliance. Because nobody important enough will be a part of it. Your death would be useful to me. Very useful. But I'm pretty sure I can just outlast you. It'll cost 10 chin points for the uh, the county of Pra. Is it Praha or Prague? Or is it a case of Praha, Prague? Well, no, it's the barony of Barun. I don't understand. I'm n Oh, well, this is Prague. Mm. I guess it is Praha, Prague. Still calling it Prague, though. Mm-hmm. This could work out well for me. You die... Hungary stops being your friend. I come in, and I swoop down, and I take it all. But I don't declare war before that, because then Hungary is my problem to deal with. Praha is Czech. Prague is English, just like we call uh, Österreich Austria. No one will acknowledge your pathetic name, Austria. 
Alright, my chance to uh, impress. Oh, I... Right, I don't know if it bothers anybody else, but symbolizing people as food disgusts me in a like shiver down my spine kind of way. Representing a person as an egg, especially a cracked open and bleeding one. No. Alright, let's be entertained. You're gregarious. There we go. Why'd it have to be an egg? Similarly awful things are like virtual Bart. When you fail to do one of the levels, Bart ends up as a, uh, like, what is it, a wiener dog or something? One of those uh, meat on stick affairs. And Homer just eats him. I mean, I'm not that easily shaken, but that is just off. And rampant incest does not. Look, incest is a natural part of the animal kingdom. For some reason, we just blow it out of proportions when it's between humans. That's alright though. Everyone else could be a hypocrite, right? Would have been better to bring up the frost punk if you wanted monstrosity. I agree with you, Jake. There is probably a crazy reason in Swedish. In Swedish. Don't know what you're getting at there, but I know I don't like it. Okay, I don't think any critical failure anymore. I think I'd rather go for subtle desire with unshackled lust. We're almost there, so let's make Urka ours. Mm-hmm. We lay with her, she becomes our lover. We are really raking in those lovers. Now she could kindly... Oh god, that's... I don't want feeble in the bloodline, right? Severe penalty is too hard to overcome, even for four points. There's probably some saying with eggs and people being easily brought. I don't disagree with that. It just, I just don't like the representation as people of people as food. I don't even mind people being food, right? The cannibalism in Frostpunk's no problem, but it's the representation as food. Just ain't right. Noah is the father of incest, if you believe the story, says TMP Vin Mix. Is he though? I'm sure there's uh, I'm sure there's an explanation. Okay, uh, loins are getting a little itchy again, but maybe we should consider doing something else like being a friend. That's right, we can't actually be friends and not just lovers to ever Oh god he hates me. Everyone hates sadistic. Is it so hard? Hmm. You're not useless enough for me to get claims, are you? Look, he's, he's committed a, a horrible crime. He's a family kinslayer. I should surely request a claim on him. Wow, that actually works. Kinslayer. Kinslayer is useful there. In fact, if you didn't hate me so much, there's a reasonable chance I could get claims on you. But that's not how we're doing things right now. We have enough problems as it is, and I need to be able to afford to expand into Bohemia. Ooh. The wrong idea. Even though I kept pressing the matter, Urka remains adamant. The child is not yours, rye bread. Who else would have fathered that child? Well, she's with child, and we now know how to check. So let's wait for her to pop and see what comes out. Wait, the liege went to war with a count? Well, just cleaning up the borders, I guess. And yes, Jerusalem gets around. Those Jerusalemite borders are weird. I don't even have Jerusalem. <laughs> what a failure of a crusade. Also known as a crusade. Oh, what's this? I call upon you to honor our light. Who the hell are you? Oh, Christ, uh, yes, Croatia. Not just any old Croatia, a, a tiny part of Croatia. What are you up to? I mean, I guess. If I decline, that's a fame loss that I don't want, so sure, you have my backing. Just get on with it. Oh, -ho, my daughter Super Pie has been showing signs of pregnancy. But it was actually my cousin Rotha. Come on, you inbred freak. 
Super Pi, if you could just make me proud for one moment. Speaking of not making me proud, the albinos that I set up, at no small cost to myself, refuse to breathe. They refuse to even live under the same house. Ah, jeez Louise. Okay, how's it going, my lovers? Enemy ally joins war. Uh, it's getting a bit bigger, but this looks more like a U pro. Actually, most of those soldiers are my soldiers, aren't they? <laughs> you might lose there. But that is for you to deal with, not me. Hmm. That bishop of mine is generating too much dosh here. Come on, you feeble free. I wonder if feeble makes it more likely that they die in childbirth. It's not so bad if they die if the child survives, but if the child dies with them, then we don't get to... But they don't show up, so I can't claim any chin points for them. As long as the child is out and we can be sure that it's either ours or our heirs, we get the points. But we only get the heirs points when we become the heir. Otherwise I would end up double counting, and I'm quite certain I would. Come on, out it pops. If it's a fascine ugly... Oh, well, defeat. Oh dear, what a shame. Who would have thought? At least I joined in, right? Oh. Oh. I don't think Fasine just happens. Whose child is that, Urka? If you were to marry, say, my granddaughter, they would be related. That's plus one on the chin pointer. Sadly, it's just plus one. Um... We didn't get any of my hideousness, and only a small amount of her delicateness. But, out pops another one. I think this actually works well for us, because it doesn't count towards our children count, I think. Yeah, we seem to be having quite a few kids out of wedlock. Well, it works for me. I wonder if we could perhaps find ourselves somebody else to deliver upon us a... Uh, a delicious bit of pointing. Any more for the inbreeding, for what it's worth. 15-year-old inbred, and another 15-year-old. One of them will turn 16 soon. Oh, you just turned 15. Undesirable. November, though, why, that's only a few months away. And she's sadistic. Sadistic surely likes sadistic. Let's keep an eye on you. That's two chin points. No, I believe delicate's only one. Delicate is one, fragile is two, and uh, the other one is three. So many young ladies, but only the most grotesque, stupid, and physically challenged attract our attention. Well, they're the only ones that get us these points. Come on, turn 16. One more month, and then the lust becomes unshackled. Don't worry, where your dynasty may not appreciate you, I will. At least the build-up in our own lands is going well. Happy birthday, kiddo! Oh, that isn't good, but it's good enough. Alright, let's put the moves on. <laughs> Actually showing up. You wake up in bed, it's your 16th birthday, you hear a chap on the door, and out comes this 60-year-old Austrian. Oh, God. Said, I'm, I'm building the most horrific harem there is, and you need to join it. Right, uh, the odds the odds grew, actually. I wonder why they grew so much so quickly. A little gift would help along, but I'm not sure I want to pay money to make this work. I'm sure our charms alone will be enough. You get a visit from House Uggo. If you were ever on the fence, you were pretty or not, now you know. Oh, God. That would not do wonders for your self-confidence, would it? Uh, protect me. There's no scheme that I need help with. 
I wish if you weren't scheming something, they would go back to disrupt schemes. Maybe there's a mod for that. Right, bold declarations. Never gone wrong before. Well, they won't go wrong again. Come on, Bohemian Ruler. It's time for you to climb into your little wooden box and die. Hey, she didn't like it. But that's okay, we're still 50-50, and that rounds up to 100%. Oh, someone's trying to kill my son-in-law, Anders. Is it me, because his seed is so weak he can't even pass on his giantness? Well, whoever it is, they're not likely to win. Mothers all throughout the HRE tell their daughters tales of the Ugo man that will visit them the night if they don't look after themselves. See, people would take better care of their physical appearance if there were more monsters allowed out in the rampage like Rybred. Rybred's doing a public service. He's making all the people on the fence pretty themselves up, and he's given all the uggos somewhere to feel some warm embrace. Although, I'm not sure, I'm not sure much is still beating in there right now. 60 years old. Pretty old at this time frame, but that's for soon for you. Fasund and Athlete. Oh, trust me, Doc Spengler. I would never deceive you. Hmm. Content. Hmm. Fickle. None of these really jump out at me. But it might be good to have a trusting child. Well, you're going to be who we are. That enemy scheme success chance seems dangerous. Especially if you're gonna get yourself killed. Probably best to go for uh, content then. Parents show cuties movies? Parents show cuties movies to all children to encourage traits which keep Ugo. <laughs> okay, the traits to keep Ugo away. Something about hearing talk, you talk about this is somewhat unnerving, says Rybred, but I guess you get what you pay for. Well, Rybred, this is all you're doing. You have fathered so many uggos out there. And oh, somehow homely looks worse than ugly. I feel like that's reversed in a way. Okay, a reading in the Cummings. What's going on, Asheeda? Asheed? That's not nice. Okay, uh, she probably doesn't want to hear about re uh, and, uh, religion. Let's be entertained. Oh, -ho, good choice. We're back to smoldering chemistry. This is looking good. In fact, if I just shelled out a bit of money, it would probably be very high chance of, uh, of success here. Loves her husband. We'll see about that. Everybody says they love their husband until the Ugo comes knocking. Alright, let's grease those wheels a bit. I'm keen to get some uh, twisted incense. Uh, incense? Sure, why not? Let's get the incense on the go. Mm-hmm. If only it had stayed a secret. Oh, that's you again, though. This is all you do. This is why we're not getting the giants out there. Alright, we have to put our faith in uh, Doc Spengler. Should be his time to shine quite soon. Uh, we're not going to set him up with any... Uh, with any marriages. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho! We outlasted him. Bohemia has no allies. Lower military strength than us. Uh, creatively. This is our time to shine. We can take Prague. Excellent. Very excellent. Uh, I wouldn't mind wrapping up this scheme first. Although I should probably do it before they get themselves any uh, any allies. Yes. We declare the war. Croatia, you're joining in whether you like to or not. Oh, he actually becomes my friend. Because I've been pulling him into all these... Wait, what? No, no, I'm not offering to join your wars. No. What the hell is this? I was wondering what that was all about. No. Call to war. I probably don't even need him, but I'm bringing him in anyway. Alright, let's see what the Bohemians do. Maybe we can catch the uh, the king himself. Although he doesn't look tooled up for battle. 
No, he's just staying around there. Okay, we'll, la we'll wait until the uh, Picnic Cloth army arrives. Hopefully they arrive to our war, not anyone else's. I don't mind them going to Kaslav, they'll be stuck there for a while. It's actually pretty good for me that they want to stick in the hills. Uh, let's see. Horses fight like crap in hills. Spearmen fight well. Heavy infantry don't care. But their heavy infantry actually get a bonus in it, so that's bad for us. What else they got? Archers. Archers actually do well in hills as well. Hmm, could be a problem for us. Takes four days to get all our armies together there. That won't be a problem. Um, but I would like you to get a little closer first. Besides, we have time on our side here. Don't cross women get crazy strong in hills. Cross women are pretty late game, but I can't remember. I would probably benefit from a little bit of uh, mercenaries. Especially some extra pikemen, given how well they do in hills. But that's not a lot of pikemen, and they're not that great. Oh! You specifically bring those... Uh, those bohemians here. That's good. I think when you hire them, they immediately go to your rally point, don't they? Maybe I should remove that rally point just in case. Now, if they if they pop up there, I can always uh, can always dismiss them and move them over here. Had a hunchback giant's doing a fight, probably very creatively. Aha! Time for you to be mine. You're not pregnant now. You will be later. No sooner have I read the letter than I'm on my way to her chambers. Your broad shoulders are like a gnarled, foot, a gnarled root. I wish only to be by your side that I may know how you smell, you and I together. So it make the sun move in the sky. Oh, amazing. I know we were working on some poetry AI in uh, Paradox. I'm glad to see it put to use here. Let's get in there. Picnic cloth people, come on now. Uh, okay, perhaps they'd rather just take that route. Well, whatever, I can take these guys on my own. My total soldiers feel like they've gone significantly down since starting this war. What's up with that? I got 6,000 to deal with, and I don't have 6,000 to deal with. In any case, I like the look of those heavy, uh, very well led heavy infantry. Ugh, again, no, not over here. And... Bowmen do well in it, and do as do pikemen. A few more knights as well seem pretty good. I'll bring you in just because I really want to be sure that I mince the uh, mince these bohemians. So raise everybody here. Give it four days to get everybody. Oh, if they want to come for some, there, that's their prerogative. But I'm moving on in, and I'm getting that awesome guy that I... Huh? Wait, what? You're in prison? Part of the reason I brought you in was for your... Oh, well, okay. Could you not? Could you not be in prison, please? I'm trying to fight a war here. I don't... Well, I do outnumber them, but uh, what do they have? 18 advantage, 15 advantage. Flexible leader would ruin a bit of our advantage. Thurgot here. Reckless. You're also reckless. Do we not have somebody that fights well in hills? Rough terrain expert. 18... 4... Nah, I think we'd better stick with reckless. But it's a dang shame that you can't get out of here. Can I not even br uh, buy you out? I guess not. Well, weird, but I'll take it. All right, come on, you scumbags. We fight in favorable terrain. We counter their pikemen. Ooh, right. Their horsemen and their other things completely counter our bowmen. Our bowmen are pathetic here. Their bowmen are only slightly countered. Their swordsmen are good. Their pikemen are rubbish. And their horses are also rubbish, so this should be a good fight for us. I really like the the battles, I just don't like the war system. Oh wow, those are some losses for them. Where's your precious screening now? 
It's uh, pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. Right, we should march straight on their capital and take it down. One of our commanders was slain. Mm, too bad for you. Jake, you're super close to a legacy perk. Well, I'm right on it. The question is which one we want. Fertility speaks to me. We definitely don't want this. Mm -hmm. Graceful aging is nice, but there's no way we're going to get these late game ones, so I'm only interested in the 1 in 2000 ones. Probably boisterous loins, and then maybe marriage acceptance. Hey, maybe we can put this to work right now with one of our lovers. Well, we know we know what you were all about. Hold on, where was that? Uh, the, yeah, you're the teenage dirtbag. Um, well, come on then. I don't need diagrams to show you how this one works. What's Prague all about? Level 9 and a level 5 there. This could take a bit of time, but hopefully my picnic cloth friends will come and help me out instead of just running away to the sea constantly. I know they have another war that they're fighting, but come on. Is that really the one to go for? Oh ho ho ho! The 17-year-old's belly grows. Tell me more. Mm-hmm. Of course it's yours, rye bread. I worry that someone will have heard her, but we remain alone in the silence. Good. I suddenly have a lot to think about. The two of us. A child. Well, who's to really know? Okay, should be enough of us that the Bohemians have no chance of actually taking a fight with us. I might be able to cap the guy in one. Oh, the king is right there. I could just mash him right now. Leave the mangonels, kill him, and come back. Oh, I didn't expect that. Let's hope they don't come and kill my mangonels. Hope might be all I have to go for here. They're going to be there quickly and on my mangonels shortly after. Might be worth abandoning the siege quickly. I mean, sure, I'll lose a bit of progress, but it's better than losing my mangonels. And my army, for what it's worth. Oh boy, it's going to be a brutal battle. Okay, good, he thought twice about it. I didn't capture the uh, the big cheese, though. But off he trots. Could always go and get him. Or I could siege down the war goal, which is also important. Oh god, I'm actually going to fight that. Maybe. We're laying together, myself and Urka. I discover a random secret. We become a heartbreaker and Urka breaks up with us. Ooh, not that fragile little thing. She could gain opinion, or... Maybe. Oh, she refuses to say. Alright, somebody's dumped smallpox on us. <laughs> um... Good way to lose a bunch of stress there, but... I'm not keen on getting any chance. Oh. I don't like the guy, so I'll just launch it his way. Good for losing stress. Looking at the Oni DLC Alpha, it looks like it fixes the core problems you faced, says Facebook Smuggler. I mean, after having a negative impression of the game, it's very unlikely that I'm going to return to it. Um... And man, especially since I was just playing that game earlier. I'm trying to heal here, face. I'm trying to heal after that experience. 
All right. Oh, I actually captured the air again. He has a way of doing that, doesn't he? Uh, now there are more of them. 7,000. I might even need another Merc band to take care of them. You can call Croatia into your... Isn't Croatia in my war? Oh, no, no. It's, it's them I could call into the war. Well, not too fashed about that. They are coming for me. There's very little other reason that they would abandon that siege with uh, so many thousands of men. It would be prudent for me to high-tail it out of there. But he'd catch me in the farmlands. Better than him having the advantage of fighting me in the hills, though. Probably take that farmland fight, but open plains would make his horsemen even better. Damage plus 10 on them, they're already fairly damage heavy. I mean, his lands though. Does he have any unfortified hills nearby? Not ones that I can go to actually. Hmm. I should see where he goes from here actually. Probably goes here though. He might go south to siege me, but it's more likely that he comes north to fight me. Yeah, I gotta abandon that. It's folly. Oh god, oh okay, well that's not good. Someone's trying to kill me. Let's try and find that, shall we, my beloved spy master? Hmm. Oh, well, it's fine by me if you want to run away. I myself need a few, uh, well, a little bit of reinforcing. Yeah, it's good for me if he spends time wasting away down there. Right. Come on, kiddo! <sighs> All we get is homely. However, Homely is still, uh, oh, they're celebrating the birth of the child, unaware of the truth the child resting in her arms is not his, but mine. That's still an extra chin point right there. So you bald, well, I think we're just going to stroll on into their court and say, mm, I think we have a much better name for your child, even though you bald's a pretty good one. I think we're going to call this one Unden. You know, I never know if that's an O or a zero. I should check that someday, because I really don't know. Alright, good. If they want to head on south, that's fine by me. I need to go back to uh, back to Prague. My supply is a bit low, actually. Um, maybe, just maybe, I could wait for them to go away a bit. Oh, we're over the supply limit. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Split off some levies. Let the levies soak up the supply here. How many mangonels they got? 20. 20 siege weapons. Not mangonels, but whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pin him for when you need an incestuous marriage. Excellent point. Glad the king's gone. Doesn't one always need an incestuous marriage? Oh boy, he made more mercs. How much money has this guy got? Too much, frankly. Hey, Pope, would you mind giving me gold down the line? You're waging war against someone of your own faith and you're already wealthy. Okay, okay, I get the idea. Mm hmm. It's 
It's no secret that my cousin Adela is carrying a child conceived through sinful union. She's not a married woman at all. Who fathered her is a mystery. Oh, the only one responsible is the suffering bishop. Oh, man. That's my cousin right there. Family gets around a bit in complicated ways. Jake, hire more mercs. I mean, I could. I just kind of want to know what he's up to. Excuse me. I have something that could be uh, best be described as a cunning plan. The downside is those are mercs right there. I was thinking about taking a, a fight with them marching in here and then I fight them on hills in my advantage. But I don't know, we'll only really be using men at arms. Now I need to get Prague so I can get ticking war score. Once I have Prague, I can set about his armies. Oh, but it th I think he's doubling back in that. Thank goodness I don't believe in uh, in fort level, right? Ween should be okay for a while. But looks like he's coming up north again. Whilst you can, tear those walls down, please. Yeah, mercs and bonuses from buildings. And they both come together quite nicely. What does this guy owe himself? He has six whole places. So he's got Prague, and that has a wooden barracks. This has a barrack. Okay, he's got a bunch of barracks. There's more than I do. Just, just make your move on Wien, okay? Oh, he's making his move on Croatia. Thank you, Croatia. You're actually doing me a favor there by keeping him off my back while I siege down his capital. But you're going to be doing me a disfavor on war score. Get over here, then, you, you fool. Oh, well. Mm. Oh, that's not good. It was only 6% war score, but it still wasn't good. Subtle desire, incestuous penalty gone. Let's celebrate. Double J. By the time you've had that child, it'll be time for you to have another. <laughs> she loves her husband. We'll see about that. They all claim to love their husbands, right? Until the door's closed. Oh god, there's 10,000 of them. I may have to invest in a Merc Band or two. Just to keep myself alive here. The thing is, it's hills. The Franconian Company. When has Franconian ever let me down? I wish I could... Can I even say where they get hired to? I guess I can. Uh, what? Oh, I extended. I didn't hire. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay. I didn't actually want them extended. What a waste of money that was. Well then, what do we do? We get the army of the ore then. You guys head over there, and that'll bring us up to seven, eight thousand. I need another thousand or so units just to keep them at bay, but it might, st it still might not be enough. And this is getting very expensive. Especially since I wasted some of that money right there. Horses won't fight well on hills, so it's not worth getting horses, but there's not a lot of non-horses out there. In fact, it's as if they're all horses. He's really coming for me, though. He's got a lot on his side. Well, Austrians, this is the Austrian run, after all. Come save me from myself. I 
I hope he's uh, low on supplies from running around like that. No, he's well supplied. Of course, he's running around his own lands. Ooh, that's not good. And he'll have a lot of uh, a lot of armies, uh, a lot of knights, rather. Hopefully, he works on sieging Kaslav rather than uh, de-sieging this. But if he comes straight for here, that's a problem. Right. Our child could be zealous, but that would stop him being wit. Well, it would make him less likely to be uh, a witch. Hmm. Brave is it's going to make it hard to uh, to use and abuse him. But Brave is pretty good. Martial, prowess, attraction. We're going to need attraction, right? Let's take it. Okay, good. They delayed themselves a bit. Just as well. I spent a lot of money on all of this. Increased levies. Mm. It's only one year, and I could do with those levies. I hate to say that, because I don't like levies, but... Uh, in this kind of war... Alright, there we go. He still claims to control the war target, though. Alright, let's see if we can't get our best commander over to wipe you out in the hills. A good battle or two will change things. Ah, there we go. Now they're not defending the war target. You're out in 18 days, you're out in 6 days, I'm there in 12 days. I'll mince one of you. Also, I spy some low supplies. This is a good fight. I've got them split up. Someone is scheming against me. No, it's uh, my knight. But I need my... Okay, well, he's a pathetic knight. Into jail he goes. Alright. Oh, this is good. Good, good, good. You try and join in this fight. They've already lost. Never chase defeat. In my pursuit of Countess Double J's affection, it would be useful to know exactly what her tastes and preferences are. I raised that girl. How could I not know? But I can't risk any downsides in this one. Bad impressions would hurt. But risk all or save none. Aha, uh -huh, this is interesting. She's a woman of fine tastes. I'm a fine taste. Well, maybe a refined taste. Oh, this is one expensive fight. Holy moly. Alright, well, if we take down this, we'll have the... We'll have the war goal, and that'll help a lot. You do not have the maximum number of knights employed. I don't have many knights, full stop. But I have some that we brought in from mercenaries, at least. Okay, let's try and get this one broken down as fast as possible. And that should win the war. Yeah, Prague is definitely worth fighting for. What an amazing county. But it's not just that. It's weakening Bohemia as much as this will. Bohemia is really the, the only threat to us. And it's funny because it's a threat that we uncork. We're the one that keeps fighting them. Hopefully numbers and supplies are on our side to bring this down. Advantage certainly isn't right now. But, uh... Oh, we're in forests rather than hills now. Okay... Never would I have thought that a man could have too much love, yet it seems life has proven me wrong. Let Urka go. Let Luisa go. I'm not letting people... Ooh. We're not that stressed. Let's just uh, go for a nice run. Get ourselves all sweaty. And then continue on. I'm not giving up my life of love here. These women need me. Nobody else wants them. Gift your daughter for some extra love points. 
I could, but we're a little tight on the uh, the purse strings right now, so I shall not. Well, if we're tight on the purse strings, I know a j oh god, where's all your money gone, man? I don't know, but the choir boys are looking pretty laden with gold these days. It's so hard to see if things are getting upgraded. The the status or the progression bars are tiny. Still, let's do what we must do here. Gotcha. Wait, what? Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. We captured the. Uh, we captured the the second heir, but the, the next one actually died off. So, we ended up having the next in line, which gives us 25 extra war score. Which means we win. There's no need to press any further. Meanwhile, something informative, entertaining, religious. Probably informative, because she's trusting and shy. Irrational adventurer. Irrational. Oh, I don't know. Any bright ideas there? Maybe this plays into it. Stewardship. Mm, entertaining is seldom wrong. There we go. Whoa! With that, who needed gold to loop the chains? We did not. Okay, I should probably call this war before it goes on for much too long. Uh, just give me that title. Chunk. Now that title cost me ten chin points. If I want another, it's going to cost me fifteen. As expensive as a duchy. Duchy is just a title though. A duchy is not land. If you're wondering how I come, uh, came up with the values, uh, I did a very complicated uh, calculation of pulling it out of my rear end, like I do for most of my clutch wins in weekly one-shots. How are you still working on increased count? I want the money for once! Give me the dosh. I need to, need to make up some money after all of that. And I need to increase control in Prague. But I also need to get rid of uh, a piece of land. So what's the crummiest holding that I have? It's probably Amstetten, actually. I could give that away and have myself an actual subject to bully. And it would be a great way to keep the family in town. But I definitely want Prague. I want more than just Prague. Some of these are great. I'd like some more stewardship, actually. That would be nice. Uh, I don't particularly want to give this up. I think I'll hold on to Amstetten. I know, I've already given that away. Oh, no. All right, you know what? You can go to a low... Mm. 3, 0 0.7. 0 0.8. 0 0.7. But you're already given away. But you give me so many levies. All right, onwards to a low noble. I can always take it back later. Will you make Prague your capital? Uh, I don't think so. I see little reason to. Hey, it didn't have any control loss from conquering it. How nice. And it already has levying grounds. Which is great, because I like that boost to my everything. Okay, pretty damn good. What's next? Could I please lay with some lovers? Because I, uh, I need more chin points to expand now as it happens. Come on, Prague, show me the money. What's taking so long? Actually, I'm, I'm a bit perturbed by that. Why is Prague not showing me the money? Well, what matters is that you are not making so much money anymore. Uh, how is your military... Oh, yeah, you have all those mercenaries. But take away the mercenaries, and you are pretty pathetic. Super Pie's at it again. Holy moly. If you're going to have babies, at least have them be spawns of Satan. 